Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got one really big story about some cats. But like always, before we get into that, let's quickly look at the coin market cap. And since yesterday when I last spoke, Bitcoin is almost up another 10%. We've broken 60k and we're currently in price discovery. Uh, Bitcoin is going mental. Uh, Ethereum is up almost 10% as well. And alts are going to start catching up, but are they going to pull back on the BTC pair? That's the question. USD pair, they're up, but BTC pair might be having a bit of a pullback. Anyway, let's get into today's story. We've got digital archaeology. Long Dormant Mooncats project rides NFT mania to the moon. The second ever non-fungible collectibles project on Ethereum sees new life. As the profusion of new algorithmically generated non-fungible token projects drives down the premium on digital rarity, digital history and being among the firsts has become a more reliable source of value. As a result, long forgotten projects are being unearthed on on-chain sleuths and yesterday they might have struck gold on their biggest find yet. At 7am on March 12th, Twitter user and NFT collector ETH Horde posted a short thread on what may be the second ever non-fungible collectibles project launched on Ethereum, Mooncats. He says, while maybe not as eye-pleasing as the recent crypto cats discovery, after that rush happened I started digging around and came across a hashtag Mooncat Rescue, inspired by CryptoPunks as well and actually predates CryptoCats. According to Etherscan, the Mooncats Rescue contract is 1,310 days old, first written to Ethereum on August 9th, 2017. That would mean Mooncats predates CryptoKitties, the NFT project widely credited with popularizing NFTs, by three months, and likewise is just a touch younger than CryptoPunks, the OG NFT project on Ethereum. Users quickly set to figuring out how to interact with the contracts manually via Etherscan, as the website is fronted had long gone defunct. The first Mooncat minted in 992 days came to digital life at 2.52 p.m. At the time, users reported that the cost of interacting with the contract to rescue the cats was between $50 to $200. Some speculate that the gas prices rose due to the Mooncat mining demand, and the cost to wrap them so that they could be listed on NFT Marketplace OpenSea ran upwards of $200, or 25,600 cats were minted within a few hours. The floor price for cats on OpenSea has risen as high as 0.8 ETH at the time of publication, netting cat rescuers roughly 1,000 profit per cat. There's been 715 ETH worth of activity, pushing the project to the top of various volume leaderboards and new community built front ends have already emerged. The remarkable story has been likened by some as the form of digital archaeology, which treasure hunters found long lost history. This Twitter user Muni says, they are the first digital archaeological dig, the context is anything but lame in my opinion. In my opinion, what we witnessed yesterday was the digital equivalent of discovering historical artifacts, said Mooncat collector Elmo. While that may sound hyperbolic right now, I think history will look back on these seemingly rudimentary pieces of art as the first steps in pioneering the growth in digital arts. Almo has been posting quaint statistics and records to the Mooncats Rescue's digital footprint, including one Reddit thread where users said the cost of minting a cat was 50 cents. He also notes that the project is a rare example of a truly fair launch. The contract was available and open to the public for years before the community caught wind and it exploded in popularity. Mooncats aren't the only digital goldmine historians and prospectors have stumbled onto in recent days. There have been efforts to resuscitate other projects that the community has found underappreciated. Collector and developer Nate Hart saw a sudden bid in his Chain Faces project, one of the earliest NFT projects to have all relevant metadata on chain earlier this month, after months of relative stagnation. The question now turns to what other long lost contracts are gathering cobwebs on Ethereum. So, like always, let me know down below in the comments is this Mooncatch just a fad or is there something more deeper to it? And until tomorrow's video, thank you for watching.